five, four, three. Good morning, WHS. Today is Wednesday, September 26th, 2018. Good morning, Eagles. Welcome to Blue Eagle News, information for the students by the students. I'm Jared Kaufman. And I'm Amina Shaquille. Congrats to the football team who sponsored a successful toy drive this past Friday at their home game versus Bristol Central. The team not only filled up one police cruiser with toys, but had to bring up a backup vehicle, filling it nearly halfway. What a great way to remember Maven and support her family. The pep rally is this Friday. We hope all of you have been showing your school spirit every day. Monday was hat day, and here are four of the hat favorites. Please vote on which one you think is the best. Go to at weathershield underscore SC to vote for the winner of hat day. Winners will be announced at the pep rally this Friday. Send your spirit day pictures to the student council Twitter to be considered in each poll. You could win a gift card to a local restaurant or business. Tomorrow's pajama day and Friday is show your school spirit day. Wear all your school gear. We want to see all of it. Get your friends together to take a group picture for the yearbook. The Art Rich photographer will be taking friend group pictures after the pep rally on Catone Field. Fill out the friend group pictures form on the yearbook website. The freshman class will meet in room 418 today after school to talk about the plan for Powder Puff football. The WHS band will be going to their first competition this Saturday, September 29th at Rocky Hill High School. Here is Faith Giannini with some information. This Saturday, September 29th, the Rocky Hill Royal Blues Marching Band will be having their annual competition. This year is the 20th anniversary of their competition, and Weathersfield is the only school other than Rocky Hill to have performed at all 20 competitions. The gates will open at 4 p.m., and the competition will start at 5. Weathersfield will be performing at 5.50 p.m. It will cost $10 for adults and $5 for senior citizens and students. We hope to see you there. Last week, our tech ed department had a vehicle donated by Monaco Ford with the help of the Weathershield Education Foundation to be used in the transportation class. Shannon Riley reports. On September 19th, WHS students, faculty, and administration waited excitedly for a special delivery. A 2003 Ford Explorer donated by a local car dealership, Monaco Ford, was delivered with the help of the new Weathersfield Education Foundation. Weathersfield Superintendent, Mr. Michael Emmett, expresses his appreciation for the donation. Well, I'm very excited for our students here at Weathersfield High School. This is an opportunity for personalized learning. And to be able to do that hands-on component, I think, is a great opportunity for kids. Um, certainly, we're very uh, pleased, we're very happy that the Weathersfield Education Foundation has uh, facilitated this donation. And certainly, many thanks to Monaco Ford for making the donation of this vehicle. President of the Weathersfield Education Foundation and former WHS physics teacher, Ms. Sue Fennelly, is encouraging local businesses to join the foundation in its mission to support and enrich Weathersfield public schools. The Weathersfield Education Foundation is an independent 501c uh, foundation that was started last fall in 2017. And our mission is really to enhance and support the programs of the Weathersfield public schools. We um, are running a founding donors campaign right now to elicit some funds from the community and from businesses. And we're also sponsoring our inaugural event, which is going to be held on September 27th from 6.30 to 8.30 in the technology wing of the high school. And the purpose of that is to show the community and local businesses all the wonderful things that are going on in the technology program and uh, ask for their support. WHS Principal Tom Moore sees the benefits of this donation. Well, the whole idea of the Education Foundation really is a, a great benefit to Weathersfield High School. The technology department has uh, one of the highest subscriptions uh, for students in terms of any of the electives that we have. So any uh, equipment, anything that we can do to really enhance that, right, is going to be a benefit to all our students and to our community in general. Co-owner of Monaco Ford, Ms. Chrissy Monaco, explains how the donation came to be. So we have a connection through one of our employees, his name's Jay Granado. He is the son of Bobby Granado, so he connected us with her and she was asking us if we could help in any way to get the Weathersfield Automotive Program back up and running. So right out of the gate we said yes and we told her we would start the hunt for a vehicle that we could donate. So here we are, present day, and we've donated the vehicle. 
Tech Ed teacher Mr. Ben Sakura explained the benefits of this donation to the transportation program. I'm very excited that Monaco Ford was so generous to donate this car to our class. Uh, the transportation class has been without a car, and with this car, students will be able to do an oil change, tire rotation, visually inspect a car, and do some of the basic things that every kid should know if they have a car. Senior Jarrett Livingston is looking forward to working on the Explorer. Mostly for kids like me who can't sit in a class for two hours on end and take notes all day. Um, I know for me, it's hands-on classes are a lot better. Being able to work with my hands and being able to, to physically be able to do something, I know that's the way I learn better, so I'm hoping it'll help kids like me. With this delivery of this car, Weathersfield High School students and Mr. Sakura's transportation class will have the ability to have a hands-on experience. This is Shannon Riley with Blue Eagle News. The Star Wars Club has expanded its scope and purpose and will now be called the Night's Watch. The Night's Watch will meet to review movies, shows, trailers, and to discuss and debate movie theories. Anything worth watching in movies and TV will be under the ever-watchful eye of the Night's Watch. There will be a meeting this Thursday, September 27th, after school in room 537. A reminder that the U.S. Marines will be here tomorrow to talk about joining, and Friday there will be visits from Boston University, Goodwin College, and Elms College. If you're interested in any of these, make your way to the school counseling office to sign up. There will be a drug awareness program hosted by Weathersfield Rocky Hill Elks Lodge, number 2308, held on October 15th from 7 to 9 p.m. at the Rocky Hill Community Center. Parents, age-appropriate youth, and members of the community are invited to attend this important free educational forum. The National Art Honor Society will have its next meeting today after school. See Ms. Haas, room 22, with any questions. The WHS Literary Magazine, Pieces, meets every Friday after school in the Library Media Center. Please consider joining the group this Friday and sharing your creativity. Do it again. Oh. Up next, sports. Greetings from the Weathersfield High School Athletic Department. Once again, we are looking to raise awareness around October's Breast Cancer Awareness Month. The athletic department is selling pink t-shirts at $5 a piece. You can order one in the main office with Ms. Elliott or one of our security officers. Today after school, girls soccer is playing Buckley High School at 4 p.m. on Catone Field. Please come out and support the Eagles. And finally, due to the rain yesterday, the senior night for cross country, both boys and girls festivities, are rescheduled for this afternoon at Cove Park, also at 4 o'clock. Please come out and support your fellow seniors. All students are invited to attend the first meeting of the Teenage Republicans tomorrow, September 27th at 2.10 p.m. in room 116. See Mr. Mosier if you have any questions. Do you think you know a lot about the faculty and staff at WHS? Here's your chance to get to know them. Ms. Trinkus has an initiated a passion scavenger hunt. The winner will receive a $25 gift card to Dunkin' Donuts. All you need to do is talk to people and find out their passion. A list of participants and their passion is posted in the main entrance lobby of the school. Match at least 25 people to their passions and you have a chance at winning $25. There is an entry form on the WHS webpage for you to click on and test your knowledge. The contest begins Monday and will end on October 5th. Good luck to all. Finally, up next, the National Social Studies Honor Society will talk about their supply drive for Haiti. Hi, my name is Leah. This is Mei Chang, and we're representing the National Social Studies Honor Society. We're hosting our annual school supply drive that runs from October 1st to October 12th. Uh, and we're collecting like any school supplies related, like rulers, notebooks, etc. We take all of them, and we have donations boxes and most uh, in all the classrooms in the social studies department and we have them in most of the social Spanish classrooms too. So if you brought anything just throw them in a box and we'll collect them periodically. And uh, the class with the most donations will receive a reward, uh, the, both the teacher and the students and any teacher that are willing to also participate in this uh, school supply drive can contact Mrs. Bradley and we'll get a box to you as soon as possible. If you didn't get a chance to see the full announcements, you can check us out on Facebook and Twitter at Blue Eagle TV. And now you can find us on Instagram at Blue Eagle TV 411. And as always, you can visit the Blue Eagle webpage at tinyurl.com slash Blue Eagle TV. 
Be sure to pay attention to the digital bulletins for things you should know about clubs, activities, and other important information. If you have an announcement or recognition that you would like to share with our WHS family, please email Ms. Coco at scoco at weathersfield.me or Blue Eagle News at blueeagles at weathersfield.me. We will see you on Friday with the winners of the Spirit Day competition. All right, Jared, I have a yoke for you. Cool, what is it? All right, what do corals get stressed about? Uh, I don't know, what? Current events. <laughs> That's funny, I get it, current. Yeah, have a great day, WHS. See you next time.